Please like and share this video and subscribe for more stories. All right, let's go. Oh, well, for lunch, I have a wrap while we get this whole thing. Hi, my name is Samantha Ramsdell. I live outside New York City. I'm a singer and comedian, but TikTok also says I have the biggest mouth in the world. Hey, Sam? Oh my god, hi, Kelly! Jesus Christ! I started posting on TikTok probably around May time frame when I started to be really consistent with it, and I made a commitment to start posting at least once a day. Hmm. Probably by July, I had 100,000 followers. By September, I had 500,000 followers. And as of the end of the year, I have over a million followers now. So in just about six months, I've gained over a million followers, which is really crazy. So this is actually where I film like 90% of my TikToks in this small little room here. Um, obviously you see my ring light set up. This is normally, you'll, if you look at my TikToks, most of the time you'll see this green background. This is the way I film it. Normally I'll take this picture down. But this is normally where I film 90% of my stuff in this small little space. So you can really get very creative. If you're on TikTok, then you see that there's a lot of trends that are a little promiscuous or a lot of dancing. So I've done this whole thing where I try and like ruin all of like the sexy trends where, you know, they're either dancing or like shaking your butt. And that will really make the, the kids go crazy. Really makes the kids, gets the kids all riled up when I do that. Ruin their trends. Take the sexy trends and just make them completely non sexy. <laughs> having a big mouth is actually like one of the best things ever, and there's a ton of benefits to having a big mouth. I can eat a lot of food. Like, you know, if I eat a sandwich or burrito, like I can get everything in one bite, or a lot of people have to get multiple bites. Anyways. When I exercise, I get a ton of oxygen <laughs> in my mouth. Um, my boyfriend's really happy. Um, so a lot of people ask me if I have a condition, was I born with this? And yeah, I do actually. I was born with a really rare genetic condition um, and it's actually BFAM. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it actually stands for big f***ing ass mouth. <laughs> I always wanted to be a singer. That was like my dream, my goal when I was growing up was to be on Broadway. Like that's all I ever wanted to do. I wanted to be a Broadway singer. So when I was about to go to college, my parents and I remember my guidance counselor at the time was like, you know, what are you gonna do as a singer? Like, it's just not realistic. You know, you're not gonna get a job from it. You know, my parents really were like, we're unfortunately not really gonna support you. You know, we really want you to go to college and get a real degree and get a real job, but get a nine to five job. So at 17, I quit singing, I quit comedy, I wasn't doing any performing. During that time, I mean, I just became miserable. I got a nine to five job, I did what my parents told me to do. I got a job in corporate America, I was working 12 hours a day. So I was 50 pounds overweight, I was smoking two packs of cigarettes a day, I was drinking every night, I was had to take prescription medication for anxiety and depression and sleeping. And when I turned 28, you know, I was like, all right, I've gotta do something because I don't know why I'm not happy. I should be happy, I have everything my parents and society told me to do, and I'm still miserable. So I almost had like this come to Jesus moment where I was like, all right, I gotta start singing again. This was the one thing that made me so happy when I was little and growing up was performing and being creative and getting to sing and perform. So I started performing at 28 and it just kind of took off. I lost 50 pounds, I stopped smoking and I was on my way to trying to make it on Broadway and then COVID happened and I thought my career was over and then came TikTok. <laughs> oh really? Is this normal? Smuggles me! Smuggles me! Smuggles I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> TikTok is so unique because anyone's video can go viral, which on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, you need a big following to go viral. Where TikTok, you can have no followers, you can have one video that goes completely viral. So when I saw TikTok and just the potential, TikTok's my opportunity to get out there and build 
an audience based off of my stuff. Here we go, let's see if I can have the perfect bite. TikTok says I have the biggest mouth in the world, but the actual measurement for the current Guinness World Record holder is 3.75 inches. So we're gonna measure right now and see if I can beat the record. All right. Oh, this is so great. So it's like, I think I'm like right on the cusp. I'm like right at 3.75. Although Guinness records say it's the biggest gape, so I don't know what gape necessarily means, but Guinness, let's chat. Another question that I get is around different like objects that I can fit in my mouth. So I figured we'd show you guys starting really small, like some of the small objects um, that I can fit. Like we'll do like a little like walnut, marshmallow, and then we'll kind of work up to bigger objects. Like one object that someone asked me was a ball of yarn. So I'll kind of show you guys the progression of small things I can fit versus like a really large thing like a ball of yarn. I'll show you guys how it grows and how it gets progressed. Next I get an egg. This is just like a regular brown large egg. Pretty easy. Next we have this little tangerine, you could say. So you can see the size compared to my face. Pretty easy. Next we have a lemon. Citrus, Let's see if I can do this. Pretty easy. Last, well, I have this ball of yarn. As you can see, this is also like pretty thick, dense ball of yarn. Um, so we're gonna see if I can put this ball of yarn on. Done. <laughs> I really hope that my story inspires people. Like I want people to see what I'm doing and think if Sam can do it, why can't I do it? Um, it's never too late to go after what you love and what you want to do and taking something, especially like my big mouth, that was something I was so embarrassed about and something I'd been bullied about for so many years. And now being able to take that thing that I thought was such a negative and making it something I can do that no one else can because there's a million singers and a million comedians in the world, but how do I stand out and do something different? And my big mouth has, you know, is again one of my biggest attributes and has been what I'm known for, which has been awesome from what it was years ago when I was so embarrassed about it. So I hope that people who are watching or who've always wanted to do comedy or always wanted to sing or play guitar or be a veterinarian or whatever it is, see what I'm doing and are like, hey, if Sam can do that, then I want to go after my dream too, why can't I? Cause there is no guarantee that this life is easy